Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Shannon and on my channel I do all things beauty, makeup, skincare, and we always have a whole lot of fun. So you guys, today I am coming at you um, to shop my stash. I want to show you uh, what I have picked out um, for the month of January. You know this is coming several days late into it so February will be more on time. It's the first time I've ever shot my stash and had stuff out ready to go um, which let me just say it has simplified my mornings beautifully because when I get up at 3 30 in the morning you know sometimes I'm not feeling so inspired and I am digging through my palettes and then I end up just creating a look that I have already created or just keep kind of doing the same thing because I'm in a hurry and you know I mean not a whole lot of people are super inspired at 3 30 in the morning so I have went through and picked out some really awesome products and none of this is skincare um this is all just makeup and um so I'm super excited to show you all what I have for this month and um yeah I have you know of course the makeup on today with some of the products that I have in here and I will discuss that when we get to it so let's dive in okay so when we are starting oh let me just show you first of all let, let's show you my stash here this is just heaping full of stuff plus I have my setting sprays as well and we'll get to those okay so let's get in with our foundation and um, concealer um, you guys already know how I feel about the um, Halo Glow e.l.f. Um, holy moly macaroni. Let me keep dropping stuff. <laughs> okay, so going in, I am using one of two primers. Let me just get this out here. Okay, so I have, um, like I said, picked two primers. One is my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Y'all, I love this stuff. It is amazing. Um, super excited. Um, or I am using my Clarins uh, Paris Instant Smooth. And both of these are very putty type base. Um, very per poor blurring. Um, love, I love my Clarins. Um, definitely... It has uh, quite a bit gone, but there still is quite a bit in there. And it does come with a little tiny spatula, so you don't have to dig your fingers in it. Um, right here. And I do use that same little spatula as well with my Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm definitely going to have to get me more of both of these. Um, yeah, so that is what I am using for my primers this month. And that is pretty typical to what I use um, and now that the weather has changed into colder like every month. So um, now concealers. So this is when I kind of have some diversity in here and some more options. Let me find my other one here. There it is. Okay, so I have, of course, my e.l.f. Um, hydrating camo concealer satin finish and this is in fair rose I love this stuff I did purchase another one um, from elf out of one of my other my second elf haul because um, yeah it definitely uh, it goes fast because I have dark spots and whatnot I also have my Jeffree Star concealer and this is in C9.5. Well, first of all, let's just admire the packaging, shall we? Y'all know his packaging is just amazing, but I love this concealer. It wears beautifully with both my Halo Glow, all of it that I've ever tried. Love this. I also have my Yinsa Super Serum Silk Concealer with Vitamin C and E. This was out of an Ipsy um, bag that I got. I'm loving all three of those concealers. So really, just depending on how I'm feeling that day to what I'm going to wear for a concealer. Um, of course, right now, I have only gotten out my e.l.f. Halo Glow. I do have a backup of this, but I mean, it is still super full. But this is what I am wearing as a foundation. Um, and just so you all know, it is not a... Um, you know, it's not a 
you know, full coverage. It is a barely, barely there kind of coverage. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm really into the very just light and fresh look on my face. So this is absolutely heaven. I, I could not be more in love with this. So, and you all have heard that and be watching because I will have a review coming up soon. Um, cause I will have wore this for about three weeks now. And I do have some thoughts, some problems, um, and then some good stuff to talk about. All right. My, um, setting powder. Y'all, I do not know what is up with my mouth and brain. They're not on the same wavelength. Um, of course I have my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. Y'all, I love this stuff. This is amazing. I did get it in translucent. Um, and I just, I love this stuff. It is so beautiful and it really does pair just wonderful with the, um, the halo glow. It really, really does. I also have my Rachel Couture's, uh, translucent setting powder. And this gives me just a little bit more coverage. So on the days that, you know, maybe I'm just needing a little bit more, um, you know, coverage on whatever, a blemish that might be coming out, anything, I will be wearing this. So I'm super excited that I pulled both of these. Because although I love this, you know, sometimes I'm wanting something else. And you gotta have some options. Okay, you guys. Now let's do our eyeliners. Because I am super obsessed with several eyeliners. Um, you guys, I, I'm i loving um, the ones that I have chose. They are just like my tried and true that I go through. Um, but I did have to get some diversity because I do need different colors. So I have, um, this is my Prestige Waterproof Auto Automatic Eyeliner. And it is in this really pretty brown color but it is kind of shimmery um so there is just a little bit of sparkle to it i don't know if y'all can see that um but you guys love that um i do have my hendayan waterproof cream gel liner and it is in this beautiful blue and it is also a blue shimmery color um my uh, la girls um neon eyeliner shockwave and it is in this beautiful purple color i have my um crown purple fairy waterproof eyeliner um or eyebrow pencil i have not put this on my eyebrows but this is a beautiful beautiful purple like lavender just sparkly dream and i do put that in my waterline quite a lot actually and then of course um color pop cream gel liner and this is in this beautiful bright green color loving it um for my bronzer i have oh it's right here um this kiko milano sweet affairs duo cocoa highlighter so this is going to serve as two products because it is my bronzer and the next to it is one of the highlighters that I have picked out to wear. So there is the bronzer, just beautiful dreamy color. And that is one highlighter that I have picked out for myself. Um, I do need some more bronzers, y'all, because I have this and one more and it is my Rimmel. And um, I, I definitely need another one. Um, and y'all, it was so hard to only pick out two highlighters because I am like a highlighter junkie. But I do have my Anastasia um, Beverly Hills highlight highlighter. That is the packaging. And this is in Iced Out. Y'all, I love this stuff. It is so gorgeous. I mean, just look at those. Look at that shift. I love it. Love it. I am wearing this one today on my cheeks. All right, you guys, let me set that to the side. So, um, what else? Oh, I do have one more, actually two more eyeliners. Um, those other eyeliners are my color that I put either in my waterline or underneath um, my lash line. But I have <clears throat> my Tarte Double Awake, Double Take Awake. And this is, looks like that. One side is this beautiful black, very pigmented um, you know, liner for my top lash. And then the other one is kind of an inner corner. I love this. This is amazing. Uh, it does look like that. And so, uh, you know, every once in a while I want to do a wing. So I did, um, pick that out for myself as well as this one. This is called Stick 'em Up Adhesive Eyeliner. It is by Lash Pop. I love this stuff, y'all. It's upside down. I love this. 
it is just an awesome if I want to do a wing lighter liner and it also helps hold my lashes down I would still use um, my lash adhesive with it but you guys it's super cute packaging um, but yeah I, I really do like this stuff you just shake it up and um, it does really help hold them down so if I have really watery eyes or anything I know it sounds kind of crazy to put a black liner up on top when they're watery but it really does help hold them um let's see here uh, i also have my mirabella blackout um that big chunky crayon i love to tight line with this it's just i love putting a black uh liner up there because it really does blend in the falsies with your um normal lashes and just you know it makes it look more seamless um okay of course, I have my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is my tried and true, and I will not stray from that. Um, for lashes I have picked out, today I am wearing these. It is the Glam Light Cupcake Lashes. That is the packaging on them. And y'all, I really, really like these lashes. They are super comfortable. Love the band. Um, also, the Glam Light Michaela. Uh, part one. Oh, here's the packaging. I know you can't see them very well, but there is what they do look like. And that is a more dramatic lash. And y'all, these are kind of like just a medium wear for me. Um, these are my more dramatic lashes. And they do get, um, you know, where I want to wear a really bold um, lash. And then I have uh, two ABH pairs. You can't see that. Here is one of them. Pretty... They are also pretty full um, and dramatic. I love these, you guys. And then I also have another style of ABH. Um, so I have, what, four, four pairs of lashes to choose from in the month, which for me is pretty good because I really, it just really depends on what I've created with my um, eye look that, you know, with my eyeshadow that really makes me want to choose which lash I'm gonna wear. Um, eyebrows i have my precisely a my brow pencil by benefit love this you guys it is a good replacement um for my um brow chow or my pomade in a pencil doesn't replace that i mean it's a good like i'll use it if i don't have the others i also have my elf instant lift brow pencil and you guys that's really good too it does hold my lashes really, really well, so I'm not gonna complain. I also have a little um, Elf, of course, my little bite size um, palette for my brows. Okay, let's see what else I got in this bag here, because I'm gonna leave my palettes for the last, y'all. No, I'm going to, because, you know, I've got to. And. Let's see here. I only have one um, eye primer out um, this month because it is my tried and true. It is my Stuck on You um, by the Beauty Crop, and um, I'm so excited. I have a brand new one I'm going to definitely be needing here real soon. Love that stuff, though. Um, I only put out one blush because I'm not a huge blush girl. Um, I did not wear any today. Um, I had some on yesterday, but this is my Ace Beauté uh, Rosy. It's a really, really pretty color. I know it looks super dark in the pan, but if you go in really light-handed, it is a beautiful, beautiful color that is not too dark. Um, this is something else I put on my brows. The If I'm needing it, um, it is just the pomade in there um, from Eye Method. Oh, lips. Let's do some lips and we're going to talk mascara and then we're going to be in our palettes, y'all. Okay, so lips. I have, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five different ones. I have my Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Lip Plumper. That is in Cotton Candy. I have my um, Buxom. This is the Lip Balm Powerful, Powerful Plump um, Extreme. And it is in the big O. There we go. I love this stuff. And this is just your lips, but better. And it is such a nourishing formula as well. Love that stuff. Um, I do have my Jeffree Star The Gloss. I picked Pretzel Drip. Because I figured that's just kind of an all-around, just amazing color. Um, I have my 
um, Pat McGrath Labs. This is, what is this color? Secret Lover um, Lust Gloss. Um, it is super pigmented. I love this lip gloss, y'all. Oh my gosh. And then I have this. This is Illuminati Liquid Luxe Lip Gloss. And I'm not sure. There was two different colors. This came out of an ice cream beauty. And I got the more peachy kind. I love this packaging, you guys. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. And then for some more lip balm, I do have this. This is my Huda Beauty. It's so beautiful. Like iridescent -y. But it is that beautiful, like, you can see where. That beautiful. Look at that. Just that glittery shimmer, but this is really, and then it is magnetized. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful lip balm formula. Okay, mascaras. I have my e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. You guys love this mascara. And my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And this is absolutely amazing. Love that. Oh, there was one more lip um, and it's the lip I'm wearing today. <laughs> it is my Complex Culture. And look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love this color and this formula. I like Complex Culture, though. Just the whole packaging and everything of it is so amazing. It's got kind of a nice dofa. And it is just... Mm, very nourishing and uh, a comfortable formula, for sure. And I just love that rectangle packaging. Okay, we are down to our eyes now, our shadows for the month. I did bring um, two of my Super Shock shadows that I got from Miss Andy Does It. Um, my Kumbacha. Love this color, so beautiful. Look at that. Yes, please. Um, and this one is um, Fine Pearl. This is so beautiful, too. Such a, there we go, such a beautiful color. Oh, my gosh, loving that. All right, y'all, I never know what I want to do with my eyes. So I did bring my Lash Step. Um, we did get this out of a... Uh, ice cream beauty and it looks like that but even if I'm not using the colors in this I'm going to use that white um, to cut my crease should I need I love this palette y'all it is a very nice palette I did bring out my Natasha Denona mini Biba palette this is so awesome I love this palette it is so super cute um, just a tiny little, the like mini, mini of the fives. Look at those colors, you guys. Those are so beautiful. This would be a super awesome palette to throw in to travel to. Because you can get so many looks, shockingly enough, with those five colors. Love it. All right, you guys. Now for the big girls. I did, of course, have to, have to, have to bring out my Luxie um, uh, colors here. Luxie Beauty those beautiful shimmer shades because you all know how obsessed I am with shimmer shades that duochrome <gasps> yes please yes please speaking of duochrome I have my cocoa palette out from St. Angel Centers you guys you can just get so many looks with this as well and if I don't want to you know use the whole thing I can throw on one of those shimmer shifties Shifty shimmers on top of my eyelid and, you know, a quick liner. And you've got a really beautiful eye look. Love this stuff, you guys. All right. Now, today I am wearing this palette. It is my Huda, Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I love this palette. It is so beautiful. I mean, those colors are so gorgeous. And again, that is what I am wearing on my eyes today. So you'll have to let me know what you think. It was just a nice, you know, kind of subtle look. And I just, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I, of course, went in with this all over my eye to set my lid. Um, I started with, uh, actually, this color right here uh, for a transition. Really deepened my corner here. And then I threw on a mixture of um, shimmers here, 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 and here. Beautiful. And then I did do a little bit of this in my corner. But you guys, I love this palette. It's so beautiful. Uh, another palette I picked for the month is my Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. Y'all, 
This has neutrals as well as those pop of color. And I love it. I just love this because you can make a really beautiful, subtle eye look or you can go all out. And of course, these are the palettes that I picked for just everyday wear. If I have a collab or something going on, um, or if I just want to play in makeup, I'm going to, you know, dig out some other palettes. But um, these are my, yep, I don't even have to think about it. Pull from one of these and bam, got an eye look, you know, starting at 3.30 in the morning. And for the final palette that I pulled for Shop My Stash, um, it is my Lunar Beauty. And it is, whew, there we go, uh, my Nude Prism because this is just such a beautiful palette and it is something that I do wear for work, but I also can, you know, I can make it, uh, really build it up and make a beautiful eye. So what do you guys think of my Shop My Stash for the month of January, 2023? You will have to let me know what you guys think about the products I picked for the month for me to wear. I'm super excited to continue to do this because it just simplified my life so much better. Oh, I almost forgot my two setting sprays. Um, I have my fourth ray, which is um, ColourPop Skincare, my Do It. It is the hydration, hyaluronic acid um, hydrating spray. And then this is my Hyundaian Hy Hydration Happy hydration face mist. No, it's Manicadar. I'm so sorry. Manicadar. And I love these two. By far my very favorite setting sprays. Um, I even, after I get my face all powdered and everything, I will spray one of the two of these all over and kind of mist my sponge and just really set that powder and stuff in my face. And it just gives you that natural glow, just hydrating. Love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel out on engagement. Um, you know, hit that bell and select all because it's going to let you know when I upload some new videos and I have a lot of giveaways, you guys. My channel is not going to be shy on giveaways this year. Um, postage is, yes, very expensive, but I love giveaways and I just cannot not have them on my channel. So there will not be any slowing down on those. So you guys better be checking that out because... I always have my current giveaways listed down below in my description box, as well as there's some discount codes and be noticing some new affiliate codes down there. Don't feel obligated to shop from them. Um, but you know, every little bit goes right back into my channel and it does give you a discount. Um, so be noticing some changes to the description box because there will be important information down there that you will want to check out. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a great day. Um, as always, be kind to one another, stay safe, and until the next one, bye!